Hey Squids, it's Hank here from Nintendo. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at the Port Mackerel map in Splatoon. Now I know Nintendo released Port Mackerel back in June, but it actually came out before my channel started, so I never had a chance to cover it. I have not been able to keep up with Think Tank episodes due to school, so I hope this can help tide you over until the next episode. Port Mackerel is a close quarters map that features various obstacles such as cargo crates and cargo trucks, although the latter obstacles are exclusive to the Turf War game mode. There are also two pathways from spawn that lead you to elevated vantage points. All of your pathways from spawn dump into a somewhat open area that separates the neutral ground from each team's spawn. It is also very important to hold control of this turf as conceding it could allow your opponent to get into your narrow spawn area and spawn camp you. There are two splat zones in this map. Each zone is located fairly deep in the lower left hand open area of both teams bases. Keep in mind that you can control your zone by taking the left path from spawn to the elevated vantage point I mentioned earlier. The tower and the rainmaker are located directly in the middle and both need to be taken to the closest cargo crate to your opponent's spawn. Thanks to the various narrow pathways, this map will definitely have its fair share of close range combat, so rocking a weapon like the Krakon Roller can be plenty effective here. However, due to how deep both of these pathways reach, weapons with a very large range, such as the Charger Weapon class, excel here as well. Really, the most important thing to keep in mind while playing this map is identifying what is happening in each lane. Of course, it is important to keep track of your opponent on every map regardless of what game mode you are playing. However, I find it easier to keep up with my opponents on Port Mackerel by thinking about the three main lanes rather than trying to identify where each of my opponents are. The grid-like layout of this map also makes flanking quite simple, so you should definitely be aware of both your and your opponent's potential flank opportunities. Well kids, that is everything I have to say on Port Mackerel for this video. Please be sure to splat that like button if you enjoyed, and also feel free to subscribe for more Splatoon content. As always, thank you so much for watching.